Today I'm going to show you how to organize your fabric on comic book boards and put them on a shelf like this. I even do my fat quarters. I'll try to talk loud enough because our air conditioner is running because it's super hot here today. But here is uh, what a yard looks like folded. So I fold three different sizes. I have, uh, have a yard, fat quarters, and then this one is a remnant. It was um, too small. I think it's about a half a yard and it was too small to wrap around a full size board. So I cut a board in half. But that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, the things you will need, comic book boards. I took the wrapper off of this. I ordered some on Amazon and I forget the size they were. I think they were gold. I don't know, I'll have to double check on that and I'll put it in the description. Um, the second batch, um, these ones came from our local comic book store and they are made by Southern Hobby, I believe. Um, I like the ones from Amazon a little bit better. Um, these ones were cheaper, but as you can see, they kind of a little bit of a bow, which you notice it when I wrap the fabric, but if it's sitting on a shelf, it doesn't really matter. So that's just my personal preference, but these are the ones from Southern Hobby. Um, the other thing you will need are alligator clips. Um, I got these from Amazon. I think there was, yeah, a thousand, and I think it was 10 or $12 for a bag of a thousand. They go on the back, on the fat quarters, I just use one. Um, on the bigger pieces, like this and these, I put one on each end um, to help hold them down. If there's a dose. And then the last thing, I personally, find it easier to use. It's not absolutely necessary. You could do it with a pair of scissors. I just like nice straight cuts and this is a lot easier to do. This is a cutting tool by Cricut and it's got a little blade in here and it, you just line it up and then it's got this little thing here that pops out which goes all the way up to 15 inches. So it comes in handy when I'm cutting the boards into quarters for my fat quarters or in half for my pieces that are less than a yard. Um, but I'll put the link to, um, all this stuff in the description to where you can get it on Amazon. Okay. We'll go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. Just get a little handful of those out. So that way. I don't have to keep wrinkling the bag. Okay. And here I have a fat quarter, a small piece, it's less than a yard. And then here I have a yard. Okay, so. Oops. The way to fold it is you take your I don't know if I can get all this in the camera at once or not. But you take your salvage edge and then you fold it up to the folded edge. And now it's up to you. I personally like to put the, uh, the printed salvage, I like to put it down so that that way they all look nice on the shelf. It, might be a little easier to face it the other way. So if you ever want to look it up, it's easier to find without having to unroll it. That's entirely up to you. Okay. So I have this yard folded in half lengthwise from salvage to fold. I have up to eight yards wrapped on one. It's the same process. You just have to keep folding as you go along. Then you take your comic book board and since these are a little bowed, I like to go back the other direction a little bit so they're a little straighter. And then I like to stick it clear up. It'll leave a little bit of a gap here, but I'll, and I like to leave a little bit here. Then you fold this part back and then you just start folding. 
couldn't get these out of the way. Okay. So, and then you just start folding over and over again. Now, once it's got one or two folds, I like to take this and pull it down to the edge. That way that bottom piece doesn't want to flip out once it's on the shelf. It makes it stand a little straighter and the extras at the top instead. But it's easier to get started and get a nice straight line if you push it clear up to the edge to start. Okay, and then once you get to the end, I like to fold my edge back to keep it from raveling, plus it gives it a nice finished look. And then put a clip on. Um, I just go through the other layer. If you you can go clear through the to the board, which it's only a yard. I like to actually go through a clip to the board. Um, obviously, if you have eight yards, that's not going to be possible. And there it is. There is a nice smooth edge. And there it is. You got a nice folded edge here. All of your edges are folded on the board and it'll make it real nice to stand up on the shelf. And we've got the extra flap now at the top instead of the bottom. And that's for that's how to do a yard. These boards that I ended up getting are uh, seven inches. So I wanna cut them in half. So half of seven is three and a half. So what I'll do is on my board here, I will take this, it counts backwards. Um, so here's the three, I'm gonna go to three and a half. Fold that down, I should have started this with an edge here. And I like to go back over and forth a couple times. And then it usually kind of leaves it like this, but I do pop it the other direction and it pops right in half. They're not, depending on what size comic book boards you buy, your half is going to be a little bit different because some of them are like seven and a quarter, seven and a half. It just depends on what kind you get. Okay. This piece is a little wonky. It's been cut on. And this time I'm going to do things a little differently. Um, I'm going to put this along the bottom edge. I'm going to fold this down because this isn't, it's been cut to where it's not a full 44 inches anymore. So I'm just gonna make it the size of my comic book board. I'm gonna move this in just a little bit to help get me started. I'm gonna fold that in and then I'm just gonna fold it up to here. Let me fold that back. I'll fold this clear up to there. And then I will, there we go. And that is how I do the weirder wonky ones. Um, but there, now I can set that on my shelf and it's nice and wrapped and I can easily find it. This one is less than a yard. This piece, is 13 inches so but it hasn't been cut you know the 44 inches yet so I'm going to do the same thing like I do to start my other ones I'm going to fold it in half I'm going to take my half slide it in and then I'm going to fold the edge just like I do on the other one it's just not quite as wide Try to keep that folded down, fold that back, and there we have it. And there is a little less than and this one was 13 inches. So um, anything less than a yard is gets a little trickier to wrap. I have wrapped 24 inch panels. Um, the last part of my shelf is all 24 inch panels wrapped on boards. So I wouldn't, I probably won't wrap anything less 
than 24 inches on a full size board, I would probably cut it. Okay, next I'm gonna do a fat quarter. So, I already cut, this is the other half of the one I cut for the Snoopy fabric. Okay, so this one is 10 and a half inches. So I need to cut it to five and a quarter. So on this, what I love about this is you don't have to mark or get out anything. You can just go here, go to five, go to five and a quarter, and just pop that in there and voila. Definitely worth the money if you're planning on doing a lot of cutting with paper and um, I actually got it when I did scrapbooking and stuff. Okay, so here's the fat quarter. I started out folded in half with the salvage to the, the salvage edge against where the, the fold would have been. And then I fold it in half like we did with the other yard pieces take my little card, stick it in here, fold the edge over, wrap it, wrap it, and then I'll just find my little card in here somewhere, there it is, and then pull that down to the edge, and then keep wrapping, and once I get to the end, fold the edge over, and put a clip on it. Okay, and for the fat quarters, I only put one clip. Because it's not a whole lot to hold down, so I just used one. And then there's the fat quarters all on there. And that makes it nice, because then as they're sitting on the shelf, you too can, you can look at those and just, you know, look at the edges and see them without having to dig out everything and sort through it. Um, this isn't 22 inches wide to start with. It's only 14 inches wide fold it down or up, however you want to do it, um, fold it down part way and then put your card in and then see like this one would still be too long so I'm going to fold this one a little bit more and I just fold it till, keep folding it until I get it to where it'll fit on the board and then from there like here. I'm going to actually start this one off the board a little bit so it has plenty of space to fold over on it. And then fold over. Um, could try to fold that under. Fold that under and then put a clip on it. Um, this one, since it's kind of barely reaching, I don't think I'll fold this one under. And there's your little scrap. The other thing on this one we could have done, we could have just folded this one, like we did the Snoopy one down, fold it down, stick your comic book board in there, fold it down part way, and I know the salvage, and then, or we could have done this way, and then folded it up like this. So. Actually, I think I like that a little bit better. Um, but you can do it either way. That's just how I would do scraps. I haven't done my scraps yet. I've just been kind of experimenting um, with it. I think that pretty much covers it, but that is how to fold up yardage, um, anything less than 24 inches or half a yard. Uh, this was a piece that had some cut off of it. And then we also have fat quarters and scraps. So much easier to look through and find what you are looking for. And this is what I like to do with my um, layer cakes, my jelly rolls, um, and stuff like that. I like to, there's all the fabric wrap for that collection. And I just like to stick it in here on the shelf beside it. Here's some John Wayne fabric. And then here is the fat quarters all wrapped up with it. And then this side, here's all those panels I was talking about. Almost all of these down here on this end are 24 inch panels. 
once I get all my fabric wrapped, I would like to go through and then organize it by holiday color and stuff like that. But right now I'm just wrapping it and sticking it up here as I go and I will organize it later.